In my last video, we have tested this long run PoE switch with the IP camera. We use this PoE switch to supply up to 1,500 feet continuous run by using this Ethernet cable, and we got a camera at the end of the cable, and it's working. And we also know we need to use this PoE adapter because even the PoE switch can send a signal up to 1,500 feet, but after all, the camera is just a regular camera, so we will need to replace place this adapter next to the camera. And we know only port 1 and port 2 can supply run run, the other two ports are just a regular PoE port. Okay, we have one question left. Is it possible to use this system to supply the run run for the data? I mean, uh, example, if you just want to add a new router, but not a camera, is it working? Now let's just try to find out. First, I also need to power this run run PoE switch. And this is the short punch code. Now I have a link to the router. Also, I just find one of the port to connect the long run PoE switch so the switch can get the data from the router. And this is the cable. We have been used this coupler. This is just a coupler because it's quite difficult to find the cable with 1,500 feet. Usually what we find is 1,000 feet. So this coupler allows us to put these two cables two cable together and we got the 1,500 feet. Okay, we connect one end to port just number one. And it's ready with the PoE switch. Now let's just move to the new router. We need this PoE adapter, right? Remember? Because this router is just a regular router, it cannot send better signal for 1,500 feet. So we need this adapter to help this router to return the signal. Okay, first let's just connect to the input port. And we also need to use the short punch code to link the output port to the router. Pick one of the port. Let's see whether it's working or not. Let's just take a look at the indicator. You can see the indicator is off. Actually, the whole system is not working. What's the problem? Here we mix. We need to add this PoE speeder between the PoE adapter and the router. I will explain why. Now let me just change this PoE speeder. First, I'm going to remove the cable from the PoE adapter and connect one end to the output. Now I connect the punch code to the input of the PoE speeder. And also connect the, you can see once I plug in, you can see the indicator is on, which means the whole system is getting the power. And now I just need to connect the output to the new router. The whole system is working. Let's check the indicator. You can see the in indicator is on. Why we need this PoE speeder? After all, we don't need any power because the power source, is, power source is available for the new router. The reason is this is about the PoE system. In the standard PoE system, there always has power handshaking. I mean, before the PoE switch, the PoE switch release the power to the edge. It need to classify and verify your edge device like this one. It's the PoE countable device. If it, is, it, detect, it doesn't support PoE, it will not send the power. You may say, it will not send the power, it's okay, I don't need the power. But just see, if this one doesn't send the power, there's no power here. So this one is not working, the adapter is not working. The whole system is not working at all. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.